Being here now, be damned, there is motion in the passerby that troubles comfort and brings on longing. Midsummer evening, women drifting by in peacock colors. What fitter thought than watching them pass? I am happy. But summer is framed by ardent spring and dense autumn. Where are they going in their emerald scarves? This was the challenge, not to succumb the gray afternoon in port authority to easy fury at the piped-in music. Such carefree, glittering sound must surround much happier commutes than mine. But to let the lushness pierce the grayness, discover myself gliding in an indoor rink with all the other skaters. Out on a limb, I liked the breezes, but feared the storms. Succeeding days saw me stubbornly moving through crowds, with wide grin or vacant gaze. Two sides of the same page, for either way I was martini dry, incapable of bruising, noticing flecks on necks, rather than eyes, their daggers and their vistas. And then a tree wept, the petals at my feet. When things get hot and heavy this weekend, or one August twenty years from now, and I start tapping hexameters up and down the shoulder blades of my beloved, insert auspicious, trustworthy sounding, stolid but fun name here, for I can conjure none. I hope I do it right, never losing sight of the skin whose golden toughness allows the counting never moving my fingers so briskly that I can't hear his breathing, and never forgetting, even in the lonely heights of sublimest inspiration. What is your substance, O oh, rose, and gray and full of sleep, to flip the warm flesh over and whisper, it had to be you? Since you were not Hume's sunrise, I watched the late May moon rise, alone, and a nicotine trance assures me that summer is coming, and the arrival of painted toenails, that at last I truly understand Dobad's, and James Stewart's vacant hospital gaze, after his wits have vanished with his love, that the transmigration of bruises from skin to spirit brings about such splendid depths of character, you'll drop a dime and never hear a sound. Clouds race across the moon's pale face. I have character to spare. It is no comfort. I will write us down, making nothing happen. It won't repair this ache of failed induction, these eyes that live for sunlight, though the sky stays dark. Somewhere Zeno was smiling. The foul goblins of paradox were wearing their fairest clothes that night. My dinner with a chainsaw the evening could have been called. And when one too many led to wise judgments too few, I'm trying to break up with you, he shouted as stockings and scruples flew. And what was over wasn't. The brutal doings were sweeter than a caress. The thrill of it happening and the horror of it being an awful mistake collided like sweaty bodies in the dark, disheveled room. So this is moving on, she reflected after he left. But what was motion? No straight bright line, but a wind every bit as stormy as the people it carried away from safety, through towns that froze and burned, helping them forward, but not letting them forget for a second their ceaseless looking for what is lost, their sad resemblance to the quick and stubborn arrows that never arrive. Convergence of worlds, old stomping ground, Comfort me in my dark apartment when my latest complaint shrinks my focus to a point so small it's hugely present but barely there, and I fill the air with all the spiteful words I spared the streets. The pastry shops abuzz with Crazy George and filthy graffiti, but the peacocks are strutting across the way, and the sumptuous cathedral gives the open-air banter a reason to deepen. Build structures inside the mind, it tells the languorous talkers, to rival the ones outside. Things are and are not solid, as opera night starts at Café Tachi. Shapes 
hurry home with little red bags. But do they watch the movies they hold? Or do they forego movies for rooftops, where they catch Lowe's floating dome in the act of always being about to fly away? Ranters, racers, help me remember that the moon-faced fountains, the work of many hands, that people linger at toast long after we've left, and as two parks frame the neighborhood, green framing gray and space calming clamor, be for me, well-worn streets, a context I can't help carrying home, a night fugue streaming over my one note how, when, why, be the rain for my barren indoor cry.